I'm here to test my Daiwa Tatula TW80 with the Gomexo spool. I bought this one because I wanted the metal frame and I've paired it with the Pure Lure Fiamma, which is the original rod I bought for it because I thought this in here was silver, but it's sort of a rosy silver. Still, let's give it a couple of casts. First one, smooth. Yeah, I have the brakes in 10, they will go from 0 to 20. I already did the unbox of this wheel. I already saw three different species of fish, but let's try to give it a bit more of a whack. Yeah, I guess good. A bit of noise coming from the, the spool. Let's see if something that will stay. Whoa! And it's on! Ah! I lost it. But they are here. No, they weren't. But basically, I spent the whole two hours, I think, fishing with uh, this combo, throwing in between 10, 7, and 5 gram jigs for Twatchad. And in here, it's like two months later, same spot where I got that big bass with the uh, Aurora Air. And right now, I'm just tuning up the brakes because I'm uh, launching a 3 gram. A bottom jig it's like sort of an ad rig but made for a cross so I'm running it through the bottom with a new plastic that I have from supercontinent that looks like a, you know the tail end of a, a rattlesnake that type of deal and I'm running the presentation through the bottom you see me here going very very slow my colleague over there just casting and casting and i'm doing this on the bottom uh this was like after i filmed the aurora air video so in the aurora with aurora air and the creek dance combo i caught like four or five fish uh right now the bite was slowing down uh i had been thrown like top water on the beginning of the day with a seda nothing was after the top water this day uh, the fish were heavily relating to the bottom that's why we were using this sort of presentation uh, my colleague was luckier than myself because he got some lost soft plastic a blue one and it was he, he catched a lot more i caught the bigger one but he caught like three four times more than i did so either way i really dig this combo so the seda and the tatula because it feels very very sturdy and the real it's fantastic it's very very um it's so soft so smooth even with the Gomex spool, the noise that I complained before, mm -hmm. it's gone. You will get maybe a bit of runoff of line if you are dumb like me. Uh, I got a big backlash, but not the real fault. I was casting. This is a bit of a dodgy place, so we are on a slope. And I just caught my creek dance with the um, hook of my lure. And when I cast, it was a big mess, but it was a good thing because I took like maybe 15 meters of my spool and that helped going down on the weight. I ended the day uh, throwing two and a half gram cranks, uh, two gram um, chub weights because we ended the day fishing a bit uh, shallower and 
it I have a blast. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't catch uh, more fish than the one that you will see in a moment. But man, this is solid. Uh, I will be probably selling a lot of stuff before the 11.11 so I can purchase different things. But this is the one of the things that will stay with me. I really dig the reel. I have some upgrades to make. So the clicking drag, I already have the Gomexo spool, uh, hybrid bearings, and also upgrade the line guide um, shaft uh, for bearings instead of what it has right now, which is some bushings. I think it will improve the smoothness of the experience on this reel. Now the noise it's getting lower and lower every time I cast it. Um, again, I'm very very satisfied. I'm seeing this and I'm yet to fish with the miak because fishing has been crap. Weather is getting crappier because it will be raining this week as I'm editing the video. Hopefully by the weekend I'll be able to test the miak, which is also metal frame and has DC. And it's around the same price as the Tatula 80. Uh, probably cheaper if you don't buy the Daiwa Tatula from uh, AliExpress. So mine, even with the upgrades, I think it's under 100. And now you see me catching a fish. So you see how far I had to cast to catch this bass? And it was like on the bottom of the lake. So very, very small bass, but the Tatula 80 is christened. As you can see, my jig, my soft plastic, actually very, very small. You see the tail end, it looks like a rattlesnake, small guy, but either way, tanks. But very, very cool soft plastic. I will leave it linked below because I really like it. It it has, as you see, a very, very flexible tail. And it works very well as a net rig or like this sort of jig hat. I think I will also link it down below because it's actually a pretty cool um, jig hat. Either way, it's christened. Uh, I'll make this short because that's the only fish I catch uh, with a Tatula until now and hopefully on the winter and on the fall it will get better and better and better and i'll give more and more usage to the tatula hopefully cross fingers with chander and maybe sea bass let's let's see it but until then i will see you guys on my next video bye